Aaron Shuck from New Balance wears hip 12. Olympian Abby Cooper wears hip number 14. Cooper ran that 1507 in her efforts to get to the Olympic Games. 1507 during the preliminaries at the Olympic trials in a valiant run. You can see her there leading off of the alley. And Kinsey Middleton wears hip number 15. So an absolutely loaded field tucks in behind Eleanor Fulton, women's 5,000. It should be a great race. Certainly several women here cable. The pacer is going to try to run right at 15 minute pace. And you can see close to Athens, they're moving up on the outside into that third spot already. Infield in there, Cooper in there. But what Josette Norris has done in the last several weeks has been nothing short of phenomenal. She is the fastest 5,000 meter runner in the U.S. this year. And will come by right at 73, 73 flat on the first 400. She's a national record holder at mile 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000. And she was the bronze medalist at this event at the last World Championship in Doha. 14.26 is her PB. She wears hip 11. 12 is Aaron Teshuk from Canada on New Balance. She's on 15.41. Abby Cooper, 2016. And the Georgetown alum, Norris, there moving up. Foster Hoffman and Enfield doesn't want to lose the group. Neither does Cooper. <laughs> Those are the big players. Everybody keeping an eye on everybody else right from the start. And you can see our separation very quickly. Oh my gosh, if you don't make the break now, they're not coming back, not that group. You know, post-race, after that 1500 last week, Renfeld PR'd, there were smiles, the smiles abound, you know, where they, that field ran so great, and you could just see that bit of resurgence. Emily Enfeld out of Georgetown, dealt with a number of injuries, and then recently with the profile on, after being stopped, it was, in, it was on ESPN.com. I mean, tremendous bravery, something that I could not understand, not only having that happen to her, but then telling the story. She did talk about it on her social media accounts, on Instagram, but the then being profiled. So I don't like to say that people deserve it, but I'm rooting for her. There you go. You know, this is her time to think about nothing else but running right now. So she was happy as she could be. There you go. Norris in second, Enfield the third, Foster off in the fourth, Cooper in that in her New Balance outfit, running in the fifth spot. You know, I look at I look at the women in this group, and all have tons of experience. Like they all know how to run this event so well, and they've run it numerous times. Like the five that are lined up behind the rabbit, have a, a wealth of experience, and they should be able to help each other because they know how to run the event. Look how quickly we, and look how large that separation is. So this is the five. If you look down that list and said, all right, who's got a shot at? This would be the five. And everybody has marked everybody else's move and will come by the first 1600, 71, or excuse me, first 1200, 71 again, 336. So we're right at 71, too. That's good. And, and we saw a shot of that chase pack. It's a competitive chase pack as well but this is an elite group of five behind Eleanor Fulton. Norris tucked in there in second. Enfeld with a white top in third, Foster Hoff in fourth, and then running Lauren Paquette rounds out our group there. You know, Josette Norris, if you, if you saw my interview with her, it's still up on Flow Track post-race. She talked about how she was getting better each week. And she did a workout where it was 12 400s where there were sets of three and it was 68, 68, 64, where you run two and then run the third one faster. And she closed that workout in like 61. And last week she closed in 60.9. And that confidence is just, it's blasting out on the screen right now. Like <laughs> I'm looking at our monitor, I'm looking across the track and she is on a mission. And they'll come by 1,600 meters at 449, 73 on that lap, 449 for 1,600. 
And you're right, she should be confident. She has had a wonderful year. She's run great races all up and down the distances, and she looks great right here. You, you said you're pulling a little bit for infield. I'm always pulling for uh, Cooper there. Uh, you know, she's uh, just Abby, that race in the trials, and then the uh, 2016 Olympic Games. It's nice to see her running well, and she's right in this. And boy, we have got the perfect conditions for him with now 3,200 meters to go. And Eleanor Fulton getting the job done. And I just, you know, this is just a flawless first 2,000 meters. And Paquette is playing it perfect. You know, she ran 15.10 last August, and she just needs to stick right on Abby. And, and Abby deserves this after, after her prelim at the trial. She, she deserves to get in the train. Uh, 72 on that, so 602. So we're averaging right, that would be right around a sub 15.10 pace, or right at 15.10 pace, 72.7 on that lap. So if you're Josette Norris, are you starting to get antsy? I think if we could just stay maintain at this and not slow it down, in fact, it may be time for her to take over the lead. It does look like Fulton is pulling off. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna have to work it now. And I think Norris is comfortable out front there. So right now it's on page Be great to see what Klosterhafen has in her, you know, 1432 personal best at 5,000. A couple years ago, she was running as well as anybody in the sport. So we'll see. And Enfield looks very comfortable in second. Cooper right there. Oh my goodness. That's a pretty impressive four right there. So Enfeld's lifetime best is from four years ago when she ran 14.56. And this year, she's PR'd at 1,500 and 10,000 meters. All right, so we picked it up a little bit there, 71.1 on that. It'd be nice to see us get down a little bit faster each lap here and flirt with those 14.50s. You know, Norris is up front, but she looks like she could kick from, from there. She, she's running as if she's tucked into a pack. Doesn't appear to be straining because she's up front. Yeah, you'd have to say that she has as good a kick as anybody in this field, if not the best of them. And that 359 last week, which certainly indicates her fitness level. Six laps to go. Norris, Enfield, Klosthoff, and Cooper. Paquette now about 30 meters back and quite a distance back to Moscote and it leads the next group. Uh, so Norris trying to make everybody a little uncomfortable. Away. They'll be able to settle in. Cooper, Paquette is a top five. And 72, 72, nine on that lap. So I'm curious to see how Coco runs the second half of this race. She's only run one race this year, and that was a 10,000. In, in 2020, she had a handful of really good races, but this is her first effort at 5,000 meters this year and only her second time in a race. And if you ask me to pick a winner right now, I would there you go, go silent. So at 3K, we are 902, just a shade under 903. So we've maintained that 301 for each K, which would indicate that if we can maintain that and kick, we'll go under 15. 9028 for 3K. If there's any frustration for Josette Norris because of the work right, she has to do right now, she's got to put that out of her mind and grind this last mile. And just 71.8 on change. that lap, so Rampike right Rampike around where we've been running now. all the way through. 9.38 for 3,200 meters. And is Coco starting to get antsy here? 
Well, if you're the second, third point, you'd have to worry about Norris's kick. At some point, you're gonna have to do something about that. You can't just let her lead it all the way and let her kick. And here she comes, Klosterhofen now moving up around Imfel. Cooper matching the move there in fourth. And maybe Klosterhofen want to make the move and take the lead, and she does with 1,600 meters to go. And the response is now, this is the race. And it looks like two are going to be able to bridge the gap. As, as I would never count Cooper out of anything. <laughs> And I'm not going to say that's there the first go. mistake I made this evening. <laughs> There's a pack of four. Look at her. There she comes right back in it. All right. We are setting ourselves up for a great last 1,400 meters. Oh, Cooper is such a beast. Isn't she? Oh, my goodness. Great. All four of these women, you're right. They have experience, and they certainly have the talent, and they're as tough as nails. And here we go now. And Klosterhofen and now picking up. Came here to test her fitness, certainly. You know, these three Americans have this the chance to run against one of the best 5,000 meter runners in the world. They're not gonna let this chance go. Look at Cooper grind. Wow, we could have four women break 15 minutes. Four women break 15 minutes. This will be outstanding. We got now just 1,200 meters to go. 1,200 meters to go. At the first sunset tour, Carisha Schweitzer set the stadium record of 1501.63. That is surely going down this evening. Hooper just hanging. She did this last lap. Lost a little bit on the turn Gosh, and made it up tough. on the back stretch, huh? There you go. This is how you race. This is how you race. You never lose the group. You never lose the group. It doesn't matter what you're trying to hold on for. You don't lose the group. 71 again. Yeah, it's not like it's easier to run by yourself no, at this point. No, it isn't. All right, we're going to run into a little traffic here. As we come around over here, we'll have 800 to go. You know, there's a big part of me that that thinks Enfeld might take this race. Because we, when we were watching that 1500 last week, my eyes were not on her, and she closed like a monster in that last 100. And she looks really, really good. That was our fastest K so far. We are 256 on that uh, fourth K right there. 800 meters to go. 800 meters to go, and four women still right in there. So 1235 with two to go. It's game on right now. And Josette Norris has run an incredible race right now. Just has not broken form at all. And Kind of going to the arms just a little bit, but now's the time. Come on, Abby, get back up in it, get back up in it. Here she goes. Something about that turn. This is going to be a great last 600. Klosterhofen, Norris, Imfeld, and Cooper. Can we get four women under 15 minutes? Fastest time fine American is with Norris at 1451. Certainly in jeopardy here with a great last lap. Cooper hanging right in there, trying to stay close. Foster off and Norris. Oh Infell looks great. Cooper staying close. Oh, we're going under 15, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. 1345. Wow. They haven't run anything slower than 72 yet. And yet all four there will break 15. And look at Coco turn over. But she has not won this race yet. No way. Down the back stretch. 300 meters to go. Foster off, and, and here comes Norris. And infield staying right with her. Norris coming up on the outside shoulder. Coco now still trying to hold off. And Infeld right there. This will be a great last 200. Klosterhoff and 200 wow. meters to go. We are right around 1420. We're looking at possibly a new American leader. Klosterhoff and Norris staying close. Infeld right there. And Cooper still just 10 meters behind. 100 meters to go into the home stretch. Klosterhoff and Norris coming up on the shoulder. And Klosterhoff and matching her. Norris on the outside. This magical year continues for Josette Norris. She is going to be the winner of this great race right at her PR. 
14, 51, 32. That is a new U.S. leader. She was the leader. Her new PR, Klossman, 14, 51, 97. Infill, 14, 54, 09. Cooper goes under 15, 14, 56. So oh, my. Last lap in 65 6. 65 for 6 after doing all that work. Enfeld with a lifetime best. Cooper with a lifetime best. Wow. That means 255 on that last K of that. So for those last 2K, oh my goodness, what a great race. Joe Set Norris. There was the opportunity Nothing to be broken. And she did not let it happen. None of them did. Look at Cooper, 1456 58. If you said going in, hey, 1456, that's not bad, huh? I'll take it. You yeah. know, and for all four of those women, there were moments to break. Yes. And they never did. They never broke. I, I mean, how many surges did Cooper throw in in that last thousand? This is like textbook. You, uh, you show this to girls on your team and say, this is what you do. This is what you do right here. LaCourse, 1544 and fifth. Dimoff, 1551, 90 and sixth. Uh, Lucky, seventh at 1553, 77. But Abby Cooper's fourth, 1456, 58. And we just saw the fastest American 5,000 this year, Josette Norris. Oh my goodness. You know, she came across the line last week full of smiles, full of joy, and she came across exhausted this evening. That, that was. was a battle.